Hi guys and welcome to my channel, Carnival of Creativity. Today's video is going to be a DIY, uh, what's the name of the biscuit? Custard cream. A DIY custard cream cushion. This idea, this principle, I guess, you can really go to town with and do whatever your favourite biscuit is. But I did a custard cream. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe and without further ado, let's hop right into it. So all you want to do is start off by grabbing some fabric. For this I'm just using some plain white fabric that I'd cut into a rough rectangle shape. Then you want to grab yourself a pencil and just sketch out the um, layout of your biscuit I guess. You can do whichever biscuit that you like. As I said I did a custard cream. So all you want to do is just sketch out any of your letters and any of the design features on this. Alternatively if you don't trust your freehand drawing skills you can also print this out on a computer and a printer then cut this out with a craft knife and then use it as a sort of stencil if you'd prefer to do it that way instead or trace your design off the printed bit onto the fabric instead as well so as i said i just went through and did all of my letters and then did this the surrounding design as well so it had the sort of like diamond shapes there's two diamond shapes and then the swirls as well So then once you've sketched out all of your design, it's now time to paint. So all you want to do is grab yourself a fabric paint. If you don't have any fabric paint, you could also use a fabric medium to make any acrylic paint or any other paint um, fabric usable. And then I just used a fine paintbrush and painted inside the designs that I'd drawn. You want to make sure that your colour is quite opaque so that it shows up, especially if you're doing custard green like I was, given that it's yellow and it's not the brightest of colours compared to white. So all I did was cut colour or paint in the letters to begin with, then moved out to the other designs as well and decorative diamonds and swirls and things and it really is as simple as just painting in the lines So then once it has dried you want to set your design with an iron or on a tumble dry heat setting as well before then using this piece of fabric along with another piece of white fabric to just sew up the sides to make your cushion cover. So for this all I did was I used my sewing machine and I sewed down a section of one side before sewing all the way around. This isn't a typical way you'd make a cushion cover, but I wanted just a quick slip cover for this cushion as opposed to um, a full cushion cover because this is a sort of novelty cushion that I wouldn't have out always. Um, but if you wanted to make it a more permanent cushion cover, then you just want to cut your back piece into two um, pieces, make this rectangle slightly bigger to leave yourself enough seam allowance to um, hem the overlapping pieces and just overlap them. There are so many cushion templates online to have a look at, but there we are. Thanks 
for watching this video guys I really hope that you enjoyed it if you did please make sure to subscribe comment down below what your favorite biscuit is as well and if you're gonna make that as a cushion because you know why not and I will see you all next time bye guys